So tell us a little bit about your, your layout here. How did you decide to plant what you planted where? Yeah, so um, when you see the pictures of the full greenhouse, I've kind of broken it into four quadrants. Um, in part depending on where you're going to get the most sun and the heat. So because I'm growing annuals like this as well as tropical trees, um, the tropical trees kind of go in the back, uh, what is that, northwest quadrant, which they're going to get the most sun year round and the heat most uh, year round too. Um, the east uh, north quadrant is kind of our, my workstation because uh, it gets the least amount of heat and sun. And then up here in the front in the area that we're standing in right now, that is the southeast quadrant. And that's where I laid out these four beds so I can do annuals with some rotation. Um, and then in the west south or southwest quadrant, um, you have a little bit of like a living room area with uh, herbs and edible flowers, and you can kind of enjoy the view of the west and the mountains um, from this location. Okay. Yeah. And how do you pair your greenhouse with your outdoor garden? Because you have a beautiful big outdoor yeah. garden. Yeah. Um, so one of the main, main benefits of having the greenhouse is that um, you can start seedlings really, really early, and by the time it's warm enough here in Colorado to get them outside, they're decently sized. So these, these guys here that you can see at our feet, um, I started all of these from seed in my house under grow lights, and then once they were yay big, you know, kind of true leaf size, um, replanted them, brought them in the greenhouse, and you can see, like, I mean, this tomato is, you know, uh, ready to go outside, so in the next couple of days it'll, it'll go outside. So that's, that's the main benefit, is being able to both double your, your production, but also use the greenhouse as a way to start stuff much earlier than you otherwise could.